Hi, we're on our way to Chawton. I've only ever read Chawton, so I don't actually know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to assume it is. Chawton is a place in Alton, Alton is a place in Hampshire, and it's where Jane Austen lived and did things. So we're going there to do Austen things. It's in Hampshire. I used to live in Hampshire, and I never went there. And in the back of the car, we have a person from New Hampshire. How exciting. Are you wearing the, the Jane Austen shirt? Well, yes, I am. I love latticed windows. We are at Chawton House. Chawton House is just down the road from Jane Austen's house, but Chawton House itself was owned by her rich brother, and it's much, much bigger than Jane Austen's house, which you'll see when we go there. But I read about this and Jane Austen's house in this, Jane Austen at Home by Lucy Worsley, which was a really good book. Welcome everyone to a cottage. That's a cottage, and that is Chawton House. Now, Chawton House was owned by Jane Austen's rich, older, I think, brother, who inherited it from the Knight family and changed his name to Knight. And she lived in a cottage in the town nearby, which you will see shortly after we explored the house. But before we go into the house, we have to decide tea or door. We pick tea. The tea room is lovely, however. Chawton House has this big courtyard. I don't know what it was originally used for, but we went in there to have some tea and scones and sandwiches. And as you can see, as we go through this doorway, it opens up into a beautiful place where everyone can sit and dine together. The gift shop is also nearby and you can go in there first, but it's also on the way out if you prefer to do that. Up to you. I love chimneys. This is the door I thought led us into the house. I was wrong. So I go up to it and I go, ah, no, shit, okay. This is the door. This is the door. Should have known. Went through this door. Had a much more successful time. And here we are in Chawton House. It is full of incredible antiques. A lot of them from Jane Austen's time, but not all of them. These chairs and tables, the cakes are definitely fake. And the antlers, I have no idea, but the tables and the chairs and everything, I think are replicas but you will find a lot of things that are actually from the period of Jane Austen herself and her family, and you're actually allowed to sit on them, which you'll see in a bit. There's a chair that I sit in, which apparently Jane Austen herself liked to sit in. The stairs are incredibly creaky. This was a very, very loud place to visit, full of portraits, again, from that time period and probably a little bit before. And then in here you have this dining room and there are these little labels that you can see on the table itself. And the labels actually correspond to people from Jane Austen's life, including herself, which you'll see now. There, no, nope, that's her brother. Wait, okay, no, nope, that's her sister. No, that's her mother. I'm so good at this. That's her, no, that's her nephew. Wait, okay, so that's Jane Austen, brilliant, did it. Look at that, Jane Austen. Okay, so she sat there, that was her place at the table when she sat at the big house with her family, had dinner or had a chat or discussed politics, maybe, not sure. That's Jess taking a little selfie. And this is a bonnet. You always see bonnets on the covers of the like penguin classics of Jane Austen novels. So there are quite a lot of bonnets. You're gonna see bonnets in this house and you're gonna see bonnets in Jane Austen's house after this. You carry on up, up the stairs and what you're gonna see here is kind of like a mini museum to women's literature and the women of this time period, women artists, Botanists, that's Jess, say hi to Jess, that's Donna. Donna doesn't like being on camera, but it happened anyway. That is a painting, I don't know if I come back to it or not. Jane Austen's England, pause and read that if you like. Come on Will, move on, fireplace, brilliant, well done. God, you're not good at this, are you? That's a screen, that's Jess and Donna again. That's the painting, okay, so that's a painting of the house grounds as it was at the time that Jane Austen's brother lived there, and it's on a bookmark. Botanical women told you, botanists. So there's this whole section of this house museum that is dedicated to the women writers of that time period, including non-fiction writers who are writing about things like botany and housekeeping. And I thought that was a drawing of a bonnet. I would have lost my shirt, it's not. It's not a bonnet. And these are all original manuscripts, first editions from various women writers of Jane Austen's time period. It's a wonderful dedication to them. Jane's favorite reading spot. Hi, Will. So we've been told 
that a lot of the furniture, possibly including what I'm sitting on right now, which you are allowed to sit on, is original. As in, from around the time of Jane Austen, probably not before, the house has been owned by the Knight family for about 300 years prior to Jane Austen. So a total of about five, nearly 600 years. And there's so much here that is original and maintained to the point that you think, wow, Jane Austen sat on this. Jane Austen touched this. Jane Austen played with children in this room and ate here and drank here and laughed here. And you're touching things that she touched. It's pretty cool. It's bloody lattice windows just everywhere. I love them. Oh, that Will loves their lattice windows, very nice. Okay, so here are some more bits of information that you could pause and read if you want to. That's a rug, that's a fireplace. These are dresses. Now, when we went with Donna, Donna's a big fan of fabric, so she really lost her shit at this. I thought it was fine. More lattice windows, brilliant. Another dress, Donna lost her shit. Excellent, very nice stuff, well done. Have a look at that, have a look at that. I don't know why I feel the need to keep talking because you could just watch this and enjoy. The cat came in, you might be able to hear her behind me. I'm not in a fancy recording studio or anything. I'm in a room that smells like cat food. That's a radiator. That's another dress. That's the reading spot. Again, be quiet, Snowy. So as I said, one of the wall plaques did say that this was the room that Jane Austen liked to come and read in and sew and play with all of her nieces and nephews. Right here. This is what she called the big house. And in a lot of her books, there is reference of going to the big house. And this is probably what she had in her mind when she was writing about the big house in a lot of her novels. For this round, I am going to be quieter. I'm going to let the music play. I'm sure it's very nice music that I've chosen that you can hear right now. And I'm just going to let you have a little wander around the house. Chawton House is a very nice place. I realize I'm still talking. And there are nice things to see. Pause that. I'm sure it's full of very lovely information. That's a chair. Oh, I'm still doing it. All right, shut up, Will. Shut up. This is really cool, actually. Okay, so these are books by people, and they are first editions, and they're all books by women from around the time of Jane Austen. We're talking early 19th century. A lot of them are first editions. That's a George Eliot book. That is Mary Wollstonecraft. That's amazing. Oh, and okay, here's the gift shop. Right, so this is the gift shop. There are loads of great cloth-bound penguin editions of Austen's books, that's what those are. And then there's some more books by other women. The Lucy Worsley book that I mentioned before, that's on sale here. And then from the gift shop, you get to go into the library, which you're going to see in a sec. There were some lovely pendants. I almost bought that pendant, now I'm looking at it and I really wish I had bought it. But here comes the library. Okay, so you can ask the gift shop person to unlock a door that takes you into the library and there's this giant tapestry. That's what you're looking at here. And then from the tapestry, you get all these books. Now, the gift shop person could not tell us if these are original tomes from Jane Austen's time period. I don't know if this is her brother's private collection or not. She couldn't tell us. I could have Googled it. It was not her responsibility to know this, but it was mine to look it up and I did not do that. That's a chair. So a lot of these are books that are probably part of her brother's private collection, but I don't actually know. First editions, again, from around the same time period in a glass case. And there's a stairs, and I love when there are stairs going up to books. That's brilliant. So you walk from Chawton House, which was, again, Jane Austen's brother's house. He inherited it from the Knight family and changed his name to Knight. You walk down from there, past the primary school, and you get here to this lovely red brick building, which is Jane Austen's house. So as other Will, very pretty Will, very nice eyeshadow by the way, they have just explained to you that this is Jane Austen's actual house. Now I cannot tell you how cool it was to go into this house that she lived in, full of all of her original furniture, this was her garden view, this is how she saw the world, this is how she interacted with it, and this is where she lived, this is what she did, this is her world. Here's a really good tip. So we just got our tickets validated and stuff at the gift shop before going in. And it turns out that if you buy tickets here, you can just return for a year. Like you buy a ticket and that ticket is valid for a year. So you can come as often as you want, again and again and again, within the space of a year from the time you bought your ticket. Really cool. We're gonna come back. Now, as I said before, I was rudely interrupted. This was the place that Jane Austen did all of her work, all of her writing. She wrote all six of her novels here. That's Donna, that's Jess. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jess. They look like they're mourning. Anyway, 
Jane Austen did everything here, which means when you walk in, when you walk around, you're seeing the world that she saw, and the world that she saw was the world that inspired her writing. This was the kitchen where her cook made her food. Or maybe she made the food, I don't think so. Uh, there's stuff here that mentions how her sister liked to cook and bake, and she and her sister were very, very close, as you'll find out more about in a little bit. But this was the place that she was living in, therefore the things that she was surrounded by, therefore all of the things that inspired her writing. Her books were all about the home and the family and the people in it, and all of her books are conversations in enclosed spaces, in homey, local cottages in small places. They were inspired by her world and her place. These were her things, her instruments, her clothes, her everything. And everything that exists in her novels only exists because of this place. So when you're in it, you are living in the world that she lived in and that she breathed in order to create the stories that she wrote. Isn't that just fascinating? This is her furniture. This is what made her work. The world of Jane Austen created the books of Jane Austen, they inspired the life of Jane Austen, she was surrounded by these things that influenced her writing. I know I'm talking in circles, but it's just so cool. That's a timeline of people and things that happened around her and her house and her home. Also, this is original wallpaper. No, it's not. It's, it's a copy of the wallpaper of her house, but it's really amazing. And we're going to come to one of the coolest things in a second, but this is where she would sit and make tea. And apparently, she didn't let any of the servants touch the tea set. It was in this cupboard, and she wouldn't let anyone touch it. Okay, so this is her writing desk. This is her actual writing desk, and that's the chair that she sat at. Every Jane Austen novel was written in that chair chair, behind that, in front of that clock, at that table. That's it. That's where she wrote. It's this tiny little table that she wrote everything at. And that is the dress that was worn by Anne Hathaway in a film called uh, Becoming Jane. Yeah, it says that, Becoming Jane. Anne Hathaway actually wore that dress, which is funny because earlier in the video I actually quoted Anne Hathaway from The Devil Wears Prada, and now she's coming up again. She wore that dress. That dress was actually worn by Anne Hathaway. I did not touch it. I should have touched it. Anne Hathaway, the actor, by the way, not Shakespeare's wife. Obviously, you knew that. Um, probably. And so this was Jane Austen's bedroom. This is where she slept. This is where she dreamt and did things. <laughs> things. That's your dirty mind, not mine. Books, brilliant. She liked books. She wrote books. That's great. I don't have to be talking all of the time. It's nice music, isn't it? Just gonna have some tea. It was a story behind that rug, that tapestry thing. I can't remember what it was. This, however, this is lovely. This was a tapestry that was created by local people, and each patch on the quilt was designed by a different person, and it's inspired by the other one. Oh, the other one was made by her sister, that was it, it was her sister. I remember now, and that was my favourite patch, that one, right there. That's a really lovely one. Okay, we're gonna talk about this place in a sec, this is a cafe. Okay, bye, let's uh, turn it over to other Will. Hi Will. So behind me is Jane Austen's fucking house, <laughs> which is such a cool thing to say. And then turn around and you've got Cassandra's Cup, which is named after Jane Austen's sister. The two of them are very, very close, inseparable sisters. And this is a cafe, tea room, bakery, lovely place that we're gonna go in and hopefully get some scones. I got my scone. And, 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 and. Look how fancy this teacup is. I gave Donna my teacup. And then I got to have this one in exchange. That's how good deeds work. Oh, it's really hot. I'm gonna go now. Goodbye. And subscribe for books. Never said that in a cafe before. <laughs>